This week's Parsha, we learn about Korach, who was a cousin to Moshe Rabbeinu, and he instigated a rebellion against Moshe and the leadership of the Jewish people at that time. Originally, Korach was a young, bright man who, in fact, had a prominent role amongst the tribe of Levi. He was one of the individuals that had the privilege of carrying the Aron, the Ark, in the desert as it was being transported from location to location en route to the land of Israel. However, at a later point, Korach began to exploit the frustrations of many people towards Moshe, and he led a full-fledged rebellion and indeed broke the camp of Israel into two factions. Korach met a bitter end where him and his cohorts were swallowed up in the ground towards the end of the story when Moshe had a showdown between him and Korah. But I wanted to go ahead and share a unique insight of the Ramban, the Nachmanis, in this week's parsha, and that is how was Korah so successful in igniting a mob against Moshe? And the thing was, and I think it was, can relate to us in our lives, is that prior to the story of Korah, there were many setbacks the Jewish people had. They had the story of the golden calf, the story of the spies, many different uh, setbacks, the stories of the misonin and the complainers, where the Jewish people had casualties after uh, these uh, challenging setbacks. And Korach uh, exploited an emotion which was raw at the time, and he was saying, who can we blame for all of this? We've had so much uh, difficulties, we have so, so much sadness in our lives, who can we blame? Let's blame Moshe. And the people rallied behind that. And what we have to take note from that is that in our lives, in our lives, many times we have frustrations that, it, that, that we're dealing with. And we deal with setbacks and we deal with sad events as well. And we have to go ahead and try to remove ourselves from that uh, notion of who can we blame. Rather, we should think about what we can do to help the situation as opposed to trying to point a finger onto an individual or to a group, and that's exactly what Korach did. Folks, in our lives, many times when we deal with frustrating events or sad events or tragedies, many times we have the urge to go ahead and lift up a finger and say, that person's at fault. Let us go ahead and remember the lesson of Korach and always remember to look inward in, always, in all situations. Have a wonderful Shabbos.